So I'd say. Well, the uh, coaches and the officials are out already. Athletes making their way down to the shooting line, equipment in hand. But uh, let's go and find out who our contenders are. On target number one, representing Great Britain, Megan Costa. Kelly <laughs> Healy, Louisa Piper. And on target number two, representing Germany, Elena Idenson, Johanna Klinger, and Clea Reschenweber. And your line judge for this match is Aslahan Unsal. Well, Germany have got a uh, big contingent in the crowd, but nowhere near as big as the contingent for this trio. Megan Kostop, Louisa Pfeiffer and Penny Healy, 17, 18 and 19 years old. Going for gold here on home soil. Came through Spain and France. Fairly convincingly against France, 5-1. Germany, though, have big support in the crowd as well. Alina Edinson, 18 years old. Johanna Klinger, 18 years old. Sorry, Edinson is 19. Uh, the two 18-year-olds, Klinger and Clea Reisenweber, complete the German lineup. There indeed is Reisenweber on the line with Germany. About to get this European title match underway. So I don't think that arrow hit. Eisenweber actually lost out to GB's Louisa Piper earlier on this week. She's not their strongest German oh. archer. Her teammates are there to support. And unlike the compound matches, if you lose this set, as we saw in the, in the Tur Turkey match, you can come back and win the whole thing. Hey. This is not going to fill anyone with confidence, but uh, a 9 and an 8 there from Klinger and Idison. Big opportunity here for Healy, who gets things underway for Great Britain. Can they grasp this opportunity and get these first two set points? An 8 is enough with a miss from the other side. Let's not forget as well that Penny Healy, she's actually shooting up an age category. We just got a quick glimpse of Nikki Hunt there. We were talking about her earlier on. She's now in the GB coaching setup. Oh. They sprung that one near, oh, halfway through a thought, didn't they, Lucy? <laughs> yeah, that she's a rival for the expert <laughs> seat in the house. <laughs> oh, she used to be, uh, she was very inspiring to us juniors when uh, she was number one in the world. She remains an inspiration to us all. Uh, especially this trio of British archers. A 17 with an arrow to spare. That gives them an eight point lead at the halfway stage in this first set. Oh, Rise of Berber. She's having uh, some issues trying to attach her arrow there. They still have plenty of time though, so I, I'm sure it's probably just nerves. We're forgetting they're still juniors, and this could be the first time that she's competed at such a high level. Mm. Tricky that one. A miss and a six is uh, not going to help your team. Six. It's interesting after the last match. Um, I know obviously they're at 60 meters. This is 70 meters, but the uh, team from Turkey they were they were. They got 59 points out of 60, so this is a very, very different scores. 38 points out of a possible 60. That's a shocker, isn't it? There's no other way of putting it. Penny, as I was saying, Penny's, uh, because she's been shooting at the World Cups this year, she's decided to go up an age category. She was supposed to be shooting the under 18s. Drag that one across. This is why. This is why she's in the under-21s. Yeah, not only competing, 
on the senior circuit. Gold and silver on the high end archery World Cups circuit this season in team competitions. It's a good member of the team. There's Nikki Hunt again. A closer look at her. She takes a closer look at the target. What's she thinking? Shall I have for dinner tonight? <laughs> Could very well be. Used to pipe her five seconds left. Oh, that was brilliant. Great start from Great Britain. 52, sorry, 54 plays 38. And the first two set points go to the British team on home soil. And that is a rowdy bunch of British supporters there. Let's see Alex Wise talking to Patrick Houston. Both men, I should say, both men are on the Olympic circuit. They, uh, Alex just missed out to uh, one of the archers who's coming up in the next match, James Woodgate. Uh, yeah, he was the reserve for the Olympics. A glimpse of uh, Richard Priestman there, the former GB coach, now coaching uh, Israel. Uh, so the British team looking very relaxed. Penny Healy looking down the lens of the camera into her thought process and it's nice again to see a team that takes time out relaxes in between sets they've got to chill out because it's so high pressured on the shooting line the pressure though right now is all on the Germans and look at the support from Patience Wood and Co in the crowd for Great Britain they need to maintain their focus, though, the British team. As, uh, as Lucia Sullivan has already said, Germany can come back from this. A miss didn't set them up well for that first set, but it's a slate wiped clean in terms of uh, individual set points. Great Britain, though, with the advantage of the early lead. Now, can Dreisen Weber clear her head of what happened in the first set and get the Germans off to a good start. Germany were actually uh, ranked higher after the qualification round. Their team was third. There is GB were actually fourth, but of course GB really beat France quite quite well in the uh, in the last match. France were number one. Germans came through a shoot off against Italy to make it through to this gold medal match, trailing though against Great Britain, set number two. Rise and Weber on the shooting line. She hasn't seemed to settle into her shot yet. She um, she was in the mixed team though, so she's had a, a bit more. She she would have been their highest ranked archer. She was no. third in the seeding, so it's unusual that she's so nervous in this match. Well, if you're a German fan, this is uh, going to be pretty tough to watch. A 24 out of a possible 30. Great Britain bags of support on home soil, shooting well here. You can see the movement in the stabilizer. That one drifting over to the right, potentially cutting the line for an eight, it is marked as an eight on our scoreboard. Had a little bit of pressure Ten. there. How will the British team manage this? Here's a little bit of breathing space. I hope Louisa gets a 10. And I shouldn't say, but I really do hope she gets a 10. Give you for your 
She's holding for quite a long time though. Wow. Oh, that's a nine or a 10. So that actually puts GB in the lead by one point. Uh, you can see uh, a deep breath there from Ryzen Weber. This doesn't look entirely comfortable. Oh, not bad. Not what you want to see in a gold medal match, though. Yeah, tricky from a German perspective. Their coach uh, is actually an hey. international. He was uh, here at Lillishaw. Um when he was a junior. He, um, he used to shoot for France. He's now the coach of Germany. He used to coach France as well, of course. So much experience. I hope he's, uh, there we go, having some words with his girls. A 38 in the first set for Germany, a 50. Shows you more what they can do. I think there's more in the tank as well from the Germans. Great Britain, 55 available to them. So a little bit of wiggle room for Healy and co. Penny didn't look too confident about that. She kind of moved her, uh, moved her body out the way there. As you can see, it was an eight. They still potentially got the lead here. Costa with a bit of a nine. reset halfway through a draw. That gets a, a nine. That takes a tiny bit of pressure off the anchor. Gostel's done really well in this match, actually. She uh, she lost a penny in the individual matches, but it's great to see them together as a team. Good shot from Piper. 52 is enough for a four set point to nil lead. Great Britain on home soil are in contention now for this European title. Nikki Hunt with a big smile on her face in the coaching box for the team. Very important for her, for the team to remain relaxed and chill out in between sets. We take a look back over this and you can see the camaraderie between this British trio, Lucy. Oh, they're so good. It's, gr it's great to see them, especially, you know, as Penny's the young one, they've, the older girls have adopted her into this team and they're, they're absolutely smashed their way through through this week. So both teams finding the 10 with their arrows in that last set. But it is Great Britain who now have a four set point to zero lead, which means that Germany, Hong Kong and Sue will be first again. And they need to win this set in order to stay in the match. The importance of uh, retaining of great arches. Nikki Hunt was a former world number one and bringing her into the team here. And I think it took Archery GB a little bit of persuasion to get her out of the commentary box with us. Uh, but she is loving this opportunity it's giving her. And it's a great thing for British archery, isn't it? To retain the likes of yourself and you stay involved with the, the team as well, motivating them and becoming a role model, but standing behind them on the coaching line of all. I mean, what kind of feeling is that going to be like? Yeah, you just hope that you can gain experience from all the people around you, just learn from their experiences. Obviously, Nikki is a great, great person to have in your box. But, you know, same can be said for the German coach there. He's, he's been on the circuit a lot longer than all of us. And, uh, yeah, he's an incredible person to learn from. We had the Spanish coach yesterday. Yeah, and so all the teams are sort of bringing in or, or retaining that knowledge so vital to the continuance of your performance and upward trajectory. Great Britain leading this European final. This gold medal match for set points to nil against the Germans. That's not right, the Germans off. They can come back to this. We've seen it earlier on. And uh, the uh, line judge just asking the crowd to calm down a little bit, quite right too. Uh, they've got to give the Germans an opportunity to shoot in peace. And now it's the Germans who cheer on their teammates. We've become Wimbledon. Ryzen Weber. Can she produce her best now? 
Hey. They're all drifting out. They're not consistent either. She's uh, really struggled since the ranking round, since the qualification round. She's, uh, she's not had the best second half of the week, but you know she's on oh. for a silver medal today. So hopefully she can just relax and a second shot, hopefully. I'm, ho I'm, I'm hoping she does. No, That's you're not. You're not kidding shot. anyone, Lucio <laughs> Sullivan. You want misses from the Germans <laughs> and Great Britain to go into the tens. Uh, it's a seven, though. That is no good for Germany. A 24 from them at the halfway stage. Now, because inside you, of course, you, of course, you want Great Britain to win. But it's an interesting point for the archers' you know, mental well-being, if nothing else, to be able to perform when it's been tricky is important. Great Britain. With Penny Healy doing a, another bit of boquondo there, just guiding that one across. I'm writing that down. Thanks, Mackenzie Brown, for that. <laughs> boquondo. Nice. Great shooting from the girls. And uh, four arrows left for them. They could potentially be wearing gold around their neck. I'm uh, <laughs> getting quite excited. Quite breezy though. You can see Penny's flag fluttering on her quiver. Still drives it into the gold. Now what is the score going to put down for that? Nine measure. I think that's conservative, but probably right. A 26 at the halfway stage plays 24. Now can Ryzen Weber, can she plop it in the 10? Just to finish things off. Big movement just before release there, and look at that. Drifted down into the seven. I think when she's probably going to have to watch this match back and try and analyse what's gone on. But as you said, for the mental for mental well-being, it's good to analyse this with your coach after the match. Oh, oh. Germany haven't settled. Well, you could hear the wind picking up then, actually. It was quite interesting that you're talking the winds racing across our microphones out on the field of play. That's the lowest scoring shot apart from the miss that we've had in this match. And, uh, well, the British trio will be licking their lips. It's five seconds yeah. and she gets a 10. That's a lovely finish for Germany. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, they've got uh, 10 points to play with here. Well, call it nine, and uh, they've still got the win. Penny Healy up first. Great Britain on the brink here of a European title on home soil and so that's a cracking shot so good sorry i'm gonna probably interrupt no, you I, i'm actually gonna take a <laughs> move my chair just a few <laughs> feet further away from you because godness only knows Getting what's exciting. gonna happen <laughs> we go over to the shooting nine. line again a nine the pressure is all oh. off now a one to win <laughs> louise piper on the shooting line she doesn't want a one she wants a ten Take a deep breath, there it is. It's in the 10 for a 55 to finish. And Great Britain have taken the European title on home soil. Germany were their opponents in the gold medal match, but Great Britain said, Auf Zane Pet, 6-0, and they are the European champions.